Welcome to part one of What If Deku Married. Well, I think you guys know who the name of this character might be. If you guys have seen Monster Musune, you'll know. You'll just know. And also, if you guys want a part two of this, please let me know in the comments. Especially, screw it, spam the comment section down below. Let's see how many people we can get down there. Thank you all, and I hope you all enjoy this video. Zendaya, hurry up, we're gonna be late, Izuku shouted. One second, just give me a quick second, Izuku. I'm hurrying as fast as I can, she shouted once more, as she rushed downstairs as fast as she could, as when she was going down, she almost tripped over her own feet. But thankfully, Izuku was there to catch her. But there was a downside to Izuku catching her. Izuku tripped and fell over. <laughs> the exact same way but her landing on top of him that w that would sort the many injuries she would have actually sustained if she actually did fall that way as izuku rubbed the back of his head as he finally got the senses he could and asked Zendaya if she was okay but the only response he got was a groan signifying that she was fine as Five minutes went by, Izuku and Sadeo finally got up as they rushed to their first college class of the day. As Izuku and Sadeo were running late as is, they didn't want to run even more late than what they already were, just standing there. As, as they arrived to their class, Izuku and Sadeo sat down as the teacher finally arrived to their, well, class. Okay class, today we'll be learning more about these people with quirks that are recently appeared to around about 20 years ago as he looks at Zendaya with a scowl on his face hey teacher stop dis oh, shut up Midori before you get expelled the teacher shouted in prejudice against mutations and so on and so forth if anyone's wondering where the story may be going, well, you maybe have to find out for that one. As Izuku stood there in anger, as Zendaya put her hand on Izuku's shoulder, telling it was okay. She couldn't help being born like this, it was just a world that where the world wanted her to be. So, the only thing Izuku couldn't actually be angry at was the teacher at that time. He wanted to rip him from sh shreds, but he knew he didn't have the power to do it. He knew if he did so, he would either get one expelled, two arrested, or three thrown in prison, which is the same as the second option. He thought there won't be good ideas, but he let himself calm down as the class continued. As the class was handed out some papers to assign them new stuff, for example, it being a new school year, they will have to join a club and other activities instead of just doing normal schoolwork. So they did. As Izuku would have took tennis in this timeline, let's just say that, just to push the story out more. As Sadeo would follow, being Izuku's, well, quote unquote wife in this timeline. Well, wifey material as we say. As Izuku would hold hands with her as they would both walk to their club room being meet with another friendly face. Oh, hi Mina, Izuku said as she turned around to greet him. Oh, hi Izuku, how you doing? She said as she looked over and Sadeo and smirked. Looks like you're here too, wink wink. She said as she nudged Izuku and Sadeo's shoulders together. So have you two recently tied the knot or what? Uh, yeah, Izuku said as he scratched his cheek. Wait, when? Why was I invited to the wedding? She said. Well, it was a closed one, and he, they don't, people don't like other quirked people getting married, so we did it in secret. Only very close relatives were there. The ones that actually liked us per se, but we didn't know you wanted to come. If we did know, we would have invited you, Izuku said, as Mina had a soft pound and she punched Izuku in the rib, making him wince in pain. 
but not the type of pain that would actually hurt him, make sure like he would sting a bit, as the club activities would begin, as Izuku and Mina and Zendaya were both training to become the best they could at tennis, I guess. As we fast forward a day, well, end of the day, when Izuku and Zendaya both arrive home. As they arrived home, Izuku punched the wall slightly in anger, telling himself that the teacher today was arrogant and an asshole. Why on earth does he have to be such a quirkist like that, Izuku said. Honey, it's okay. No, it's not okay. People make fun of you for that, and I'm pissed off that God gave you quirks while the human race quirks. Why does... Why does this shit exist, Izuku said, as he tensed his hand up as she came over to him and comforted him as his grip loosened. As a couple of hours passed, as Izuku and Zadea both woke up, woke up, as they both went down for something to eat and went off for school, this is where our story differs. As they were both walking down the street, as a man bumped straight into Izuku with long white silver-like hair and skin that looked like it has been beaten, bruised, and even slight cuts in it symbolized it was deep and he was injured beyond what it could heal. As the man held onto Izuku's hand, as the man pricked onto Izuku's finger, drawing blood, as the man passed the blood of his own through to Izuku as the man ran again as Izuku was about to turn the corner once more until he held it onto Zendaya and pushed her to the wall as a giant mount of gust of wind pushed by as the man with also white hair but a tall build looking like seven foot eight pushing past and grabbing onto his quote unquote friend or brother or whatever and snapped his neck. As the two adults saw this, as the only thing they could do was run and run and run until they got to the police station, is where they spilled their guts the best they can. Officer, quick! We need help! Izuku said as he panted hard. What's wrong? Are you okay? Izuku said, I mean, the officer said, as the officer helped Izuku and not helping Indaya out, and she just sat down on the floor as a horse would do, as the discrimination for these quirk lords are getting out of hand. This leads into another part of the story, as Izuku was telling the police officer in front of him what he just saw and described his boss. Shit. The man said, as Izuku went over to the police, well, police desk, and wrote down everything else that he saw. As Izuku and Zadea both was let off, but they arrived at college, a bit too late for the man's liking, as Izuku and Zadea was both held back until their work was completed. As an hour went by, as Izuku and Zadea both finished their work, as they both left. Izuku, what do you think that thing was this morning? She said as her whole body was shaking. Probably the generational villains, I guess. Like the things we see from comic books and movies. But it's still very scary to know that this type of stuff will be happening. And I don't know what's going to happen if it takes off. And there's going to be more villains than heroes. I don't know what to do, Izuku said as he grabbed onto her, as they both embraced. As Izuku and Sadea both went home, until Izuku had a dream about one dream that he would never forget. One dream that would push him down the Hua route, and force him to go beyond his limits, and lead him into pure hero vigilanteism. As Izuku slept, as his eyes fluttered, awake, in a black void that he didn't recognize before. As his eyes widened, finally realizing 
he didn't recognize where he was. Just a full black void with one white patch in the center, explaining as the man talked. So, you're going to be the second holder of my quirk, huh? The man said as he started to give the rundown of what the quirk is, how it was made, and what he needs to do. You need to pass it on. What do you mean? Izuku said. Train enough to the point you get to your limits and then pass it on. That's the only thing you have to do. Get to 100% of your power, pass it on to the next worthy opponent. And then keep on doing it from there. We can't risk him getting it. Who getting it? My brother. The guy you saw this afternoon. Or better known as all four one as izuku stuttered awake in a cold sweat as his body jutted awake what the hell what did he do izuku said as his arm started to glow red full of red veins full of electricity as izuku is finally known as the second holder of one for all Thank you all for watching this. If you guys want more of these videos, get this video to around about 200 likes. You get the next part as soon as possible. Thank you all. Hope you all have an amazing day.